moves horizontally on a flat surface and this is the kind of graph below that shows the variation of the time with the velocity of the ball so you can see is starting with a negative value let's call this a then it reaches a zero velocity let's call this b and then at some higher value called c so the first question asks uh, which of these statement best describe the motion of the ball so the displacement at b is zero so this is very abstract to understand so i'm going to use a simulation to further illustrate this so you click on this icon it will bring you to this simulation so to start off is this is actually a, a free form symbol let's say a value let's say minus five and this expression let's say one and i'm going to make it move by clicking on this button and then activating the menu for the world versus velocity graph I'm going to click play and I'm going to pause okay this is to achieve the area here larger than the area over there so you can see that it ends around 3.65 but it starts off with min minus 5 and so this will be A, this will be B and this will be C so going back to the question the displacement at B is 0 the displacement at B is 0 so you can see here the displacement here is it zero so let's turn on the position time graph you can see that the position is not zero it's actually very negative as, as you can see over here so what it means is as the velocity becomes zero starting from a negative velocity it actually travels to the left and then it ends up somewhere here so at the maximum furthest away position so if you come back to the question the displacement is 0 at b so this has to be false next the acceleration of the ball is increasing so let's look at acceleration so if you can see for a motion graph the acceleration is constant at a value of positive one you can also toggle the acceleration to see that it is always at a value constant so while it is positive it is not increasing like increasing like from one two three and, and so forth so it's not increasing so coming back to the question do you think the acceleration is increasing so the answer is wrong it is not increasing it's always a constant value even though the velocity is the one that's increasing now option c the position b is the furthest away from the starting position so evidently from the simulation you can see that it has actually moved over here and it, and it ends up here with a mini with the low with the zero value here which means that it's actually at the very far left over here very far left of the motion so it's actually furthest away so that will make the option correct finally the final position of the ball is the same as the initial position starting position so this cannot be true because as you can see from the simulation the area under the graph for the velocity time graph this area here represents the distance travel from here to the furthest position to the left and this area under the graph represents the position from here furthest position here to this position where it currently is so it is not back at the zero zero coordinate okay so it is not true let's look at the position time graph as you can see it was starting here it moved to the left eventually it went to the furthest distance then it came back but it is not here yet 